Hi everybody, welcome to Fiber Fun with Olivia. My name is Olivia. I am a knitter, I am a crocheter, and I like to have fun and nerd out and geek out with fiber stuff. I hope you do too. If you are visiting or a new subscriber, welcome! Welcome to the Fiber Fun Familia. And if you are a continuing or returning subscriber, welcome back! Let's talk whips, sips, and Fiber Fun Chitter Chatter. Today's sip, you guys are gonna think I'm pushing this for sale, but I'm really not, I really like this. I am having another vitamin water. And by the way, this is, I got a new lighting system and um, hopefully it doesn't show too much on my glasses. If it does, let me know in the comments below, but, and I have to, I'm moving back because I think I was too close to the camera. <laughs> this camera shows everything. <laughs> But anyway, my sip is vitamin water. Today I have Power C dragon fruit flavor. And um, yeah, that's what I'm drinking and I'm almost done with it too. I've been sipping on this today. So today I wanted to share with you how my whip is going. I've been working on a blanket. Some of you have seen it on my Instagram account, Fiber Fun with Olivia. I always keep saying I show my live stories there. So that's where you can see me doing stuff. Um, so I want to share that with you. I want to share some yarn that I purchased at my local yarn shop, my local yarn shop, my LYS. Um, yeah, I was having a day and I just, I just, I needed to go and do something for myself and I thought I'm going to the LYS and I'm getting myself some yarn. And so that's what I did. I want to share it with you. Um, I did get two kinds of yarns and then one book, one pattern book. So I'm going to share that with you. I'm going to open up my Yarn Yay box for November. And um, what else? Is there anything else? I think that's it. Oh, and I did want to talk about We'll talk about it. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget. I want to talk about ideas to put stuff on my wall. Um, I want it to be yarny stuff or maybe, um, I don't know, give me ideas. I've been looking around and I saw some wall hangings and I have always wanted to either crochet or make some sort of wall hanging with yarn hanging um, with, you know, how they do with the little sticks and then they look so pretty. And then I recently got another idea. If you all know Whippy Chick, she had a live and I wasn't able to see it live, but I went back and watched the replay and I saw some her the topic was pom-poms and she had an example of a wall hanging that was pom-poms. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I kind of jumped in ahead of myself, right? But um but let's jump into my whip. Before we do that, let me take my sip. Mm, so good, so good. What kind of vitamins does this have? It definitely has vitamin C. Yeah, it has 200% antioxidant vitamin C, 100% of your vitamins B5, B6, B12, 20% zinc and chromium, and then it has taurine and electrolytes. Yum. Okay, so let's jump into my whip. I have it in my project bag. It's a Halloween project bag that I purchased recently. And let me show you where I am. I have really, really been enjoying this uh, blanket. Um, it's a D-stash blanket for me because I always turn them into D-stash blankets. <laughs> but I feel really good about that. I'm, I buy yarn that I love, right? And then it just sits there. And so I want to use that yarn that I love. And so this is what I'm doing. And originally I was going to go ahead and order the yarn that this pattern calls for. The pattern is Holiday Happy Throw. You can, it's by Red Heart, but you can download it on the Yarnspirations um, website. I know I've talked about this blanket in another video, and I will link it in the description down below as well. Um, but this is what I have so far. It's still attached to this blue yarn that a lot of you guys liked. Um, so let me show ya. So this is where I am. Let me fold it this way so I can kind of see what I'm showing you. It's definitely a happy throw. I don't know if I feel like it's a holiday. It's supposed to be kind of like a Christmas time holiday throw. 
I didn't feel like that until I got to this part and I really do love this part. And then it's also supposed to have a red border. So maybe once the red border is on, I think it's gonna look so cute. But the stitches on this are so fun, you guys. I like these little bobbles and the lines and how they look. And then this has like these little chevrons where you're hopping down two rows. And you know, I just really like how the gray and the yellow combine there. And then this one, and I forget the names of the stitches, but you can see them on the pattern if you want to. But yeah, it's definitely kept me interested. And what I really like, and this is what I've always said, um, if you saw my de how I de-stash a lot of yarn, and I'm talking about different blankets that I made, I can't do de-stash projects where I'm always doing like the same stitch over and over and over and over. I, I just can't, it'll, it'll get me bored. Even if I'm switching up the yarn, I have to have different stitches, but I don't want it to switch up so much I know I'm so picky. I don't want it to switch up so much that I'm constantly changing and having to remember stuff. So, or having to look at the pattern, I mean. I'd like to remember some. So what I really like is that you kind of do the same things here, and then you switch it up, and you do the same thing there for a few rows, and you switch it up again, and you get the idea. You, you're doing something every few rows, and that keeps me interested not bored, you know, and, um, but I, you know, while I'm doing those rows, I'm like, oh, this is what, you know, I get the hang of it, and I don't have to think about it too much, I can watch TV, I can have a conversation with my husband, or with my kids, or whoever, and so I'm really enjoying it, not to mention I'm loving these colors, I'm loving these colors, um, I know I already showed you all the yarn that I'm using in a separate video, but let me do it super quickly here as well. So I'm currently working with this one, but it's very, it's about to run out. So I went and got another one of these. This is the Premier Anti-Pilling in uh, medium weight yarn. It's all worsted weight, porcelain blue. I hope this light, lighting doesn't mess with my the color of the yarn. <laughs> Um, so that's the blue, and the blue is being combined with one of my faves, Vanna's Choice in Cranberry. It's actually a little bit darker, I feel like, than it's showing. I think the light is making it look a little bit brighter red. I love Vanna's Choice, and I think she recently had an anniversary, didn't she? 25 years. Um, I love, I still love this yarn. I love it. It's, it's one of my faves. Um, there's a pink that is getting tossed around in here quite a bit. This is Basic Stitch Anti-Pilling in the color Hot Pink. <laughs> I'm also using another Premier Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted, and this is Chinchilla. This is the gray that I'm using, but it ha it's kind of like a gray taupe, which is a really nice color. I really like how it's combining with the yellow. This is a Cascade 220 Superwash. And then finally, this is what I'm using instead of, um, I forget what I'm using it instead of, but it's kind of like a, a bone color and it's uh, Two of Wands Color Theory and the color Moonbeam. I love this one. I think I ranted and raved about this, or at least I felt like I did, because I really do love this yarn. It's so pretty. Moonbeam. So yeah, those are the yarns that I'm using in this blanket. I'm really quite happy with it. Um, I'm almost, actually, I am officially halfway through because it started. It's like, it goes like this, and then I'm starting on the blue again. So this is half only. Um, you know, it's longer than it is, or it's wider than it is longer. Um, so it's going to be another half. It's just a throw. So it's something really small that I can have on the sofa in the living room and just enjoy. Enjoy the yarn. Enjoy the stitches. Um, yeah. Okay, let's open up my Yarn Yay November box. It has this really cute uh, smaller box with this cover, and I think it looks so pretty. I love my Yarnier boxes. I really, really do. 
Um, and I think I pretty much decided because before I felt like I had to do a separate video to unbox them and like have this unboxing, blah, 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 blah. And um, you know what? I decided, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to pop them in to my regular videos and share them with you because we want to see the yarn. That's what we want to talk about, right? So let's jump in. Okay, look at that beautiful tissue paper. I always reuse the tissue paper that it comes in because it's always beautiful. It's a little booklet. And ta-da, the goodies that are inside. So let's look at the booklet, Falling for Wristers. That's the booklet. And it's usually the exact same pattern, but in crochet and knit. And the knit one is usually designed by Vicki Howell herself. And it looks like that is the case again here. And then uh, Tony Lipsy is the current crochet. She has a different crochet designer every quarter. And right now it's Tony Lipsy. And yep, clap back. Wristers, crochet wristers. And that's by... Tony Lipsy. Now let's look at the yarn and then we'll look at the, the goodies that come with it. The yarn, <laughs> I just realized I'm like moving over. Um, I completely forgot that I was so excited for this month. Now I remember why I was so excited. It's by Nick Collage. And if you don't know Nick Collage, they have some beautiful beautiful yarn and it looks like as usual this one was made especially for yarn yay subscribers let's see what it says this is spun cloud light in the color juniper our spun cloud light yarn is fluffy feather light and soft as can be this yarn is 100 percent wool with two skinny of lyrics of lyrics plied around it. I think there's a typo in there because it says of lyrics twice. Too skinny of lyrics of lyrics plied around it. Uh, 50 grams, 150, 105 yards or 96 meters. Uh, they recommend a US 7 or 8, 7, 8 or 4.5 or 5 millimeter needles. Yeah, it's 100% wool, gently hand wash. It's just, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, and it feels squishy. I don't know about super soft. It's not rough. It just doesn't feel like especially soft, which is okay. And it might, it, that might be how I feel about it because of the yarn I'm about to show you. <laughs> but this is really pretty. I love it. It's really pretty. I'm happy. Okay, and the goodies, some stitch markers. Those are pretty in rose gold. And then a rose gold sewing kit. It has quite a few things in there. I don't know, can you see? All that's in there. There's scissors. Oh, that came off easily. There's scissors. There's, this is like, you know, to cut the string. It looks like there's a measuring tape. There's some other little tools in there. I don't want to pull it out right now. There's some string. There are the cute little scissors. What is this? This is kind of fun. It has a few. I'm not sure what this is. Okay. This little plastic thing. It looks like it has a little lid. Are those needles? Yes, they're needles. Okay. So they have some needles in here. And then I really do want to know what these are. Oh, these might be safety. Yep, yeah, they're safety pins. That's what I was trying to figure out because I could only see the top of it. It's, it's all the way in there. So this is kind of a really cute little sewing kit. Nice. I'm always super happy with my Yarnier boxes. I'm glad I get them because I get to, you know, experience other yarns that I normally would not have tried. I have actually tried um, Knit Collage. I've purchased it before, although I still haven't used it. Oh my God. Okay, New Year's resolution uh, for 2023. Um, but I did learn about them because of Yarnier. So 
Okay, let's do another sip. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, let's talk about that trip to the LYS, my local yarn shop. I was having a down day. I don't know, it could have been hormones, it could have been I was just exhausted and tired. Um, I feel like I've been running around doing so many things and I just, I need a little bit something something for myself and I've been particularly well, other than my subscription uh, boxes, I've been really good and haven't really been buying yarn. Um, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go to the LYS and I did and I found a few cute things and I went with a specific goal to buy some yarn for a cowl that I want to make for uh, my hairdresser. I gave her one last year and she loved it and she was showing it off and her customers were asking her, oh my god, ask her if she'll make some more to sell to us. And I was like, no, I don't make them to sell. I just make them to, you know, um, if I have a picture, I'll put it up somewhere. But um, so yeah, I want to make her another one. She's always so good to us. She takes care of me and my kids and my kid has like a really sensitive scalp. And so she takes care of us. And I thought, you know what? I want to get something nice for her. So I did. Um, this is what I got and I've never used this yarn before when I walked in the owner of the shop asked me hey how are you doing you know can I help you with anything and I told her I'm looking for something soft and she's like oh <laughs> so she took me to this and it's called wolf oak far and this is what it looks like and this is the tag it says 100% Ovis, O-V-I-S, 21 Ultimate Merino Wool. I don't know what Ovis 21 Ultimate Merino Wool is. Um, this is in the color 19. Hand wash, cool, lay flat, 142 yards, which is 50 grams. Um, U.S. needle size recommended 6 to 8, 4 to 5 millimeter. And it does have a chainette construction. I've never used yarn like this. I know it exists. I've seen it on YouTube, maybe even seen it in person, but I never actually purchased it. And it's it's not exactly cylinder-like. It's more of like a, well, kind of like if the cylinder were a very tiny square. So it's quite interesting. But what I can't convey to you through this camera is how soft it is and this is why I was saying maybe my idea of soft right now is skewed and that's why when I was feeling this I was like well it's not rough but it's not soft because this is soft I really if you have felt like that really soft alpaca 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 yarn that's what this feels like even though this is 100% wool it's oh my god so soft <laughs> so I decided to get two other of these to combine. So these are the three colors that I got. This is 19, I think, I think I got like 18, 19, and 20 or something like that. Um, yeah, this one's 18 and this one's 20. So it kind of went like this and they are luscious, luscious, I mean, I feel like I want to keep these. <laughs> anyway, so I got those and I'm really excited to find a pattern for them. I actually went to the Wolf Oak uh, website and they do have a beautiful knit pattern there that I might try, but I don't know. I'm, I'm between that one. I can't remember the name, so I'll put it somewhere here. I'm between that one or um, there's a granny square cowl with like different colored squares that looks really cute. cute. I think it's by Vicki Howell. Um, I'll, again, I'll put this here or a picture somewhere so you can see it, but I'm kind of debating. Um, I just want her to have this like nice soft yarn on her and she's a hairdresser. So when she gets cold, you know, she, she's wearing something that keeps her toasty, but not overly toasty and it's really soft. So I'm excited about that. I also decided to try some of their, um, Cascade Yarns Heritage Prints. And this is 75% superwash merino wool and 95% nylon. Um, because of when I was walking around in the LYS, I saw these and they had different color combinations, but of course I went to the pink gray 
and I just I love this and I think this would make a lovely doily of some sort for Valentine's maybe or I don't know I don't know but um yeah let me see if I can give you this is a hundred grams 437 yards machine wash cool tumble dry cool so yeah I just I got one to, to give it a try we'll see and then I got a pattern book um, she had the most recent one there on the counter as I was going to pay and I saw it and it reminded me that I had seen one on a magazine. I saw the ad um, and I saw some previews of it and I had to have it. <laughs> I wanted it so I was like, see this was Destiny. This pom-pom <laughs> book was there so this wasn't the one that what that she had on the counter she had the the more more recent one she's like oh that just came out but i got all excited i'm like oh, pom pom i'm like do you have the one that was the um i think it was like their anniversary issue and i remember reading that and so it is double-sided because it's an anniversary issue but this well there's a few things in here that i really enjoyed i had never heard of this magazine until i saw that um or this magazine this book magazine whatever it is um, until i saw the ad in that other magazine so i was really excited to try it. this is their 10th anniversary issue 10th anniversary and i had never heard of them um so let me show you very quickly the ones look at this picture look at this picture i just oh love it love it so this was their spring summer issue let's see if i can show you a few others they have some other pretty stuff that I probably won't be making, but um, I really, oh, this one. I, I'm just so excited about this one. This one is beautiful. I believe this one is knit, if I'm not mistaken. And they have both knit and um, crochet patterns in here. This is a crochet pattern. Let me see if I'm showing it to you correctly. Yeah, it looks really, really pretty. Look at that. So pretty. Um, I'm trying to get to the other one. I'm not going to show you all the other beautiful knit items here. Okay, Floribunda. Floribunda. Flor I'm just going to try to read. I tried to read it in English and it doesn't work. Floribunda. <laughs> and this, I think, looks wonderful on the model. I like that she is thick boned like me. <laughs> and she's curvy like me and so I want to try and make this I'm super excited about that there's a few other things in here oh here's some other pictures at the back yeah they have plenty of pictures to show but I'm really excited about giving that a try I have all these things that are at I'm adding to my my queue for January February March um, let's see they also talk about yarns and stuff and you know like the usual that's that's why i kind of call it magazine sometimes because it has a magazine feel even though it's kind of like a book but it i guess it is a magazine because it comes out every so often here's the shawl keswick this is gorgeous isn't that gorgeous gorgeous i just oh i love this i love this so so much and it looks like it's just regular knit stitch, but you're color combining yarns. So I'm excited about that. And here it is again. It's big, it looks like. So yeah, I'm excited about, it has more patterns that I'm showing you, but um, these are the ones that I was super excited about in this book or magazine, Pom Pom. So, um, yeah, that's all I had to share with you today from that. Now, wall hangings, send me some ideas because I'm looking for different stuff to put up behind here because it's so empty. I want to put, you know, I don't want to go crazy. I don't know. Maybe I do want to go crazy. Maybe. Um, I've even seen some frames where you could put yarn skeins in it so they're you know thick because you open it. So I might do that. I don't know. I have so many ideas. I might do like a hanging strands of yarn i might do a crochet one i might do a knit one um i also i've been looking on pinterest and i also saw the pom-pom one that the whippy chick was talking about at her live i saw it on the replay and then what else um i also saw 
I think it was the crochet crowd. Mikey had something in the background. I think it was a frame, but it was all granny squares. It was so pretty. So maybe I could do a different version of that, different granny squares. I don't know. Give me ideas because I need to put stuff. Look, look at how boring it looks behind me. I want some yarn there. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I am going to try to be filming this, these videos every, so you can, so I can upload them and you can see them every Friday afternoon or evening for me. I, I don't know, I'm gonna schedule them um, so they pop up and you know, uh, you can see them. I, I know I have mentioned on this channel that I can't have a schedule because I'm so busy and my work schedule is so unpredictable. Like sometimes I work evenings, sometimes I work weekends. And so I, I hesitate to commit to a schedule, but I want to try. So I want to try and at least have this, you know, whip sips and fiber fun chitter chatter on Friday afternoon slash evenings, depending on where you are. Uh, so I'm going to try. No promises, but I'm gonna try. That way you can kind of think, oh, Friday afternoon, Olivia from Fiber Fun Olivia has a video and you can kind of like look for me there. If you know, if you enjoy my videos, um, and I hope you do, I hope you have a little bit of fun with me. Share with me in the comments what you're working on and um, or just say hi. I love it when you just say hi. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye.